What is going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Ghost Face Off. Today we're going to be bringing down two uh, semi-automatic sniper rifles within Call of Duty Ghost, the VKS, as you see on screen here in the Nuketown gameplay, and the Lynx, which is also a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Now, let's get it kicked off right away with damage. The VKS has a damage of 98 to 90. This is kind of odd because most of the time sniper rifles in Call of Duty only have one damage. Um, I'm pretty sure almost every single sniper in the history of Call of Duty has um, always only had one, um, you know, damage uh, marker. But uh, the VKS does 98 to 90, um, meaning it'll be a one-shot kill up to 49.2 meters, which is a really long distance. Um, it might not seem like a huge distance, but it's pretty far. It's probably almost the entire way across Stonehaven. Um, you're not really going to get two-shot kills very often, as long as you're hitting them, um, you know, in the in the torso and up. Now, uh, it'll be a two-shot kill after 49.2 meters, obviously. Now, the Lynx has a damage of 98. Um, and if you guys are wondering why the damages are less than 100, because, you know, everyone has 100 health, uh, there are damage multipliers that go into, um, you know, everything. Now, uh, the Lynx will be a one-shot kill from the upper legs and up, whereas the VKS will only be a one-shot kill from the torso and up, so that is something to be aware of. Now, uh, and also the Lynx will always be a one-shot kill, um, no matter at what range you're at. Now the rate of fire for the VKS is the highest of any sniper rifle, as I said before, these weapons are both semi-automatic, and the VKS has a rate of fire of 400 rounds per minute, um, while the Lynx has a rate of fire of 300 rounds per minute. Now, as I said before, each of these are semi-automatic, meaning you won't have to pull a bolt back like you would with the USR and the L115, making it a lot quicker to shoot, but uh, the VKS has a noticeably uh, higher rate of fire, and uh, you can kind of spam it a little better than uh, the Lynx. Now the reload time of the, each of these weapons um, are pretty similar, but uh, the VKS has a pretty strong advantage, especially um, in one of the categories. Now the reload cancel time for the VKS is 2.2 seconds, so basically if you reload it just to where um, you know the ammo is put back in your gun and then you start sprinting your reload cancel, it'll be 2.2 seconds. The full reload time is 3.4 seconds, so this is it. with at least one bullet left in the magazine, it'll be 3.4 seconds. And if you completely run out of your ammo, it'll be a 4.6 second reload. Now the Lynx has a cancel reload time of 2.6 seconds, with a full reload time of 4.6 seconds, and an empty time of 5.1 seconds. So obviously, the VKS has an advantage in every single category, but especially with the full time. So uh, if there's at least one bullet left, the VKS has a huge 1.2 second advantage on uh, the Lynx, and that's pretty strong. Now the ammo capacity is the last real uh, statistical uh, f factor we will break down in this episode. The VKS has 10 rounds per magazine with 15 with extended magazines equipped. And the Lynx has 8 rounds per magazine and 12 with extended mags equipped. Now uh, these aren't too different, but I would say the VKS has a pretty good advantage here with um, you know 2 with a standard magazine and uh, a 3 round advantage with extended mags equipped. Um, I think it's a pretty strong advantage and I would always recommend using extended mags on uh, the VKS. Now, um, going off of uh, you know my experience and thoughts, I think the VKS is better. As you can see in this gameplay, I do pretty well. Um, I actually quick scope some people, which is pretty interesting, <laughs> especially because I don't really do it that often in this game. But um, you know, I, I do enjoy the VKS a lot. Um, and when I tried to use the Lynx, I am not gonna lie to you guys, I did really, really badly. Uh, I'm not really sure what what it was. I just really struggled using the weapon. I thought it was difficult to use. Um, and I'm not really sure why, uh, other than the slow movement speed, um, which is something we'll get to in a minute. I don't really see why the Lynx would be that much worse than the VKS. And uh, in all honesty, it might not be. It might just be for some reason I was in a bad lobby or whatever it may be. But I struggled heavily with the, the with the uh, Lynx, whereas I, I did pretty strongly with the VKS. Especially on a map like Strike Zone, where um, you know, you're know you generally not going to do that well uh, with a sniper rifle. I did pretty well with it. Now, uh, the VKS, as you can probably tell, has a built-in silencer. Um, this basically means that, obviously, you'll always be off the map when you're firing with the VKS, but it also means you will not have the advantage of being able to use the chrome barrel, whereas the Lynx, you will be able to use a silencer or a chrome barrel, or neither, depending on uh, your you know your choices and etc. Now, uh, I personally like the silencer on it. I don't think it takes away too much damage from the VKS, um, obviously, over a very long distance. Um, or if you shoot him in the leg, something like that, you might not get a kill, a one-shot kill with the VKS. But with its high rate of fire, you usually be able to get a, a follow-up shot, and it won't really matter too much. Now, as I said before, the Lynx has a slower movement speed uh, than any other um, uh, sniper rifle within the game. 
um, and it's actually no faster than any other weapon in the game. It is tied with the LMGs for the slowest movement speed in Ghosts at 80% uh, of the base movement speed. Now the VKS moves at 85% of the base movement speed, which, which is the standard sniper rifle movement speed. Um, the USR moves at 90%, uh, and the L1M5 also moves at... Uh, <laughs> Uh, 85%, which is, um, as I said before, the standard movement speed of any sniper rifle. Now, um, I personally think this is quite noticeable. The Lynx moves very, very slowly, um, and it's actually very, very frustrating to <laughs> to move around with the with the uh, uh, Lynx because you're running at 80%. It's basically like having an LMG in your hands, and uh, you're using a semi-automatic sniper rifle. So, at least in my opinion, I like to move around with those weapons. Uh, you know, as much as I can at least, and uh, I think it's, it's quite enjoyable to move around with them. And uh, the Lynx having an 80% base movement speed is very, very slow, at least for me, when uh, I use an aggressive sniper roll. Now that's basically all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know which weapon of these you prefer. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.